Yeah, this is Arif Mumbak Khan from Java Technology Center. You are watching www.java technology center. Yeah, this is Arif Mumbak Khan from Java Technology Center. You are watching www.java technology center.com. <coughs> so, this is my tutorial for loose coupling. I have already explained the concept in my theoretical video. Now I am going to practically expose. As I have already discussed that I created a particular interface. I written a particular method which is returning the string that is prompt question. Got it? Nothing. I only declare I declare the spring context class. I implement that context and override that method. Okay. I just return who invented Spring. In a struts context, I implement the same interface. Return who invented the struts. In JSF, I return the I implement the same context. And it is deleted. I'm just deleting it. Okay. No. Okay, so I implement the context interface and who invented the JSF. Got it? To tell, I think it's very simple and it's clear. One interface, three implementation classes for it. Now come to the context service class. In context service class, I only take the reference of my interface. I return setter method of it, pass the context, context, this dot context, and just call a simple method ask question context dot prompt question context dot prompt question whatever context will come it will automatically call the prompt question of this respected class got it now <coughs> sorry now I have also one bean that is container that is dot class file that is bean dot xml. So in bean dot xml class what I did I have already in my theoretical portion I have already declared that all the declaration of my pojo classes just like here. I associate a spring context id of it and class of it id of starts class of it starts id of jsf class of jsf now got it now concept came i make a client class bean factory i will explain what is bean factory it is basically a container i just call lose slash beans.xml lose slash beans.xml my package name I just pass, I create a particular object, context service, context service reference, context service bean factory, this bean factory dot get bean and pass the only a context service. Nothing like that. Got it? Nothing. I, I, I just only pass the context service. Now come to the point. I just call context service dot ask question context service dot ask question now whenever it will load first of all container will load beans dot xml it will call context service and call ask dot question now come to the beans dot xml all the declared there is no problem now come to the point i create a separate id context service are you getting my point in my client class, this is my client class, what I pass, context, service, and I just, I only apply, I only call the method on my context, service. Now, come to bean.xml, I just pass id, class, and property name, I just pass context, and I just gave this property on that class on that class 
which property contest property check it out in contest service what is that this property are you getting my point this name should be match with property name because this is the property of contact service class that means i am calling the contact service class property which is contest got it so now concept came i just call a contact service and service class and i just gave this is the point turning point reference local whatever services i want to get i need to pass it in reference local that means id of that service to my reference local that means what i am doing here i am setting i am setting the contest service in setter method this one i am setting my required class id that is this what i did i just associate contest service contest to jsf context what it now it will directly call to the jsf context now how it runs i just click on it it's very simple associate libraries you can easily <laughs> download so it's very easy to write the code in dependent uh, to write the code in the spring implementation no hard and fast coding is required no much coding is required because it is the centralized xml configuration only xml configuration is required just like that just see the output of it who invented jsf who invented jsf now if i want to associate if i want to associate i want to call it starts i just copy it and i just paste it means what i am just calling all these <coughs> means my container is handling all my request suppose that i want starts i want spring i want jsf on any other class services so i need to only pass i need to only pass the id and associate that id to context service contest property this is gotten this is who invented starts concept clear so this is how this is how we can achieve Uh, this is how we can achieve the loose coupling and this concept is called dependency injection why and how now to till you are not understanding what what is actual dependency injection the concept reflecting here my dependency my class id is this i am injecting this property and setting that to contest service means loosely i am injecting the one class property i am setting the one class property to another class without actually dependent on it or dependent on each other this is called loose this is called loose coupling this is called loose coupling got it so concept you clear in your mind that concept reflect here this is the loose coupling concept i am setting the property of my contact service class through a centralized configuration file without actual creating the object of that class my container is reading that bees.xml file and when it comes to that it inject the property this property to that property this is called dependency injection this is called loose coupling thank you for watching my video and uh, i mean uh, I, i i i i will try my level best to give the fruitful versions to the society so thank you and courage <coughs> me also writing some handsome comments on it thank you thank you for watching me